undergraduate student studying counselling psychology, but I'm also an owner of a local business called Kyle Harding Clairvoyant. I know it's a little bit different, it's a bit unique, but I'm going to show you different ways you can advertise on social media in a cost-effective way. Whether you're a startup or whether you're a small business, it can be quite cost-effective. So what I did with my business, I started off by providing my services for free. There's a bit of training in that way I also built up my social media quite quickly. Within the first six months, I reached about 1,000 likes and was having about 50 comments per post every single day for each post. And it started building from there. But it skyrocketed and after another nine months, I then realized my time is valuable because I was over at um, I was at college and I was getting loads and loads and loads of phone calls every single day from people asking for my services. So, and I had lots of customers approaching me saying that I should charge for my services. So that's why I went ahead and did. Advertising on Facebook, the process of advertising is fairly straightforward. It is scary to the level of detail you can go to. If you really wanted to, you could go down to the brand of peanuts a person actually buys if you want to advertise to them and the age they are, and it can be done in a very cost-effective way. For instance, I was running low on money at the time. I spent 30 pounds on a Facebook ad, and I made 600 pounds back from it, just from 30 pounds. So it, it is something that can reach a lot of people very quickly, especially if you use SEO and other things as well. It's also good, you can use your competition for advertising as well. So, for instance, other competitors for me were psych mediums, so you've got big celebrities who do it. So, what that does is it targets their page, it targets the people who like their page, and then it draws them to, you, to your page as well, and then to your website as customers. So, and it's a good way to draw people in and build your mailing list as well, and you can reach a big audience very quickly via Facebook. I currently have over 7,000 likes and I'll get over a couple of thousand comments nearly every post I do. So you get a lot of social interaction and especially when advertising, you can get anything from 100 to 3,000 comments just off an advert. Just from spending the 30 pounds that I did, it's quite effective. Building up Twitter, one of the best things you can do to build up your Twitter is using hashtags. It's one of the most important things because people use them all the time. And you can now use hashtags on many different types of social media. You can use it on things like Facebook. You can now search for them on YouTube. You can search for them on Twitter and Instagram as well. So it's also letting a current audience know that you have other social media is the very important bit because a lot of people don't say, oh, I have a Facebook page, go check that out as well, while they're on Twitter, for instance. So it's a good way to spread out your customer base as well. So they, if they miss a post on Facebook, they could possibly catch a tweet on Twitter. So it's a good way to diversify and get a lot of people in one place. And most important thing is have a content plan and see what works and see what doesn't. For me, things like competitions to win free services, that is a very good way to build up impressions and people uh, retweeting your tweets, getting involved, social interaction, and things like that is something that's very, very important. I'm just going to show you an example now. This is my current Twitter page. I've only got 12,000 followers. But for this week, what I decided to do was open up from just starting to do my normal videos, then advertise, just a normal advertisement post, then I'll put in a competition. And you can see the impressions shot right up as well. And the good thing after doing a thing, something like a competition, people want to go on your social media and see if you'll be doing one again soon. So as you can see, the bar stayed relatively high after that. Instagram is one of the most important ones to use if you're selling products. That's one of the most important things. I use my Instagram to sell handmade jewelry that I make as well. That's another part of my business. But 20 million pictures have been uploaded since the day of launch of the app, and 60 million pictures are uploaded every day. These stats were in 2014, but Instagram's blown up so much since then. It currently has over 300 million daily active users, so that's a gigantic audience you can reach. 
So it's also important though, one of the most important things is consistency. Be consistent in what you're doing. If your followers are liking something, keep doing it. And if they start to come off it a bit, then try something new. So like the videos, for example, that's another good way to do it. And again, hashtags. People are searching hashtags all the time on Instagram. And also share for share marketing. It's very important. So that's you and another business or another personality on Instagram sharing each other's profile. It reaches out to not only your followers for them, but their followers for you as well. So it works both ways. It's very useful to build a follower base from that. And again, have a content plan. YouTube has a lot of momentum at the moment. That's a very important thing. YouTube has over a billion users and almost a third of all people on the internet have an account with YouTube. And every day people watch hundreds of millions of hours of YouTube, so it's a very competitive place, but you can reach so many different people. It's worth a try. And again, you can use hashtags on YouTube as well. So that's something that's just come in recently where people can actually search for active hashtags. So for me, I use things like, uh, so I do meditations and stuff like that on YouTube to help people relax and feel calm. I use things like Meditation Wednesday, for example. But YouTube overall, and even on the mobile app alone, reaches more 18 to 34 year olds than 18 to 49 year olds than any cable network in the US, which is huge. You can put up a video, if it goes viral, it, you make a lot of money from it. Because it's not only good for advertising your product, it's something you can actually make money off those videos as well. So, that's a very important area, it's a very big market, it's continuously growing. Mm. And then, different ways to manage your social media. I like doing things through marketing companies, like yours Cleo, but these are some ones that can be very helpful. Uh, Buffer.com, you can set up and go through all your social media accounts, you can set things up for like two or three weeks in advance, and it's just very helpful if you ever need anything to, if you've got like two hours free, focus purely on social media, you can set things separately, so if they like a certain type of content on Twitter, you can upload all that content and they'll post it all for you. And then you're just there for the social interaction. Then Crowdfire is a very interesting one, very good for Twitter, especially if you're getting new followers. Because what you can do, it was, as soon as somebody follows you, your account will send a direct message to them, welcoming, welcoming them to your profile and giving them a bit of an example of what you do and show them your website and other social media as well. Hootsuite's very similar, you can use pretty much all types of social media on it. Instagram, and Tumblr, Facebook, Twitter, pretty much everything. And then TubeBuddy, which is for YouTube. It's a very powerful tool for YouTube. You can search tags that are trending, you can search if you're doing a specific type of video, what types of tags are working for that type of video at the moment. What's trending, what comes up in suggested search results, among other things as well. And you can upload straight from videos straight to Facebook straight afterwards as well. And you can design your own thumbnail so it looks all very good and professional and it's all done like that. <laughs>